I had a feeling you guys were going to call me after what happened with Russell. Where are we going to start? Well, after Hell House, I thought that was it. End of story. You know, they tear it down. Well, not only did the town not demolish it, but nearly ten years later, one of the richest men in the country is planning to open it up again. And had you heard of the show Insomnia before it opened up at the Abaddon? I mean, I, I knew it was a hit in New York. That's about it. And then, Vanessa Shepard takes over for Susie McCombs on Morning Mysteries and gets invited to film an all-access behind-the-scenes episode of Russell Wins Insomnia. Hello, everyone. I'm Gregory Sandvik, and I play Faust, the lead, obviously. What's your favorite thing about doing this play here at the infamous Abaddon Hotel? Honestly, there's uh, nothing I like about being here at this hotel, let alone having something I like most. I mean, the conditions here aren't suitable for high school theater, let alone something on the scale of insomnia. But I'm not going to you know, complain to the union or anything, because uh, Russell's paying us pretty well. Russell's a complete visionary. I have a lot of respect for him. Uh, he's taken a classic like Faust and put this modern twist on it. He's made it relatable for even millennials, you know? It's literally God versus the devil. And they're playing this game with Faust in the middle. And Faust could be anyone. Faust could be me. I don't know what Russell's plan is to get an audience here. I mean, the people in this town don't really strike me as the theater type, you know? But don't judge a book by its cover. Unless that cover's in upstate New York. I think we're next. Hey, what's up? I'm Max. I'm Vanessa. <laughs> I play Mephistopheles. Um, to my friend Lazy Susan. She's my partner in crime. <laughs> it's really cool. Would you mind if we actually turn that off, though, while we're doing the interview? It's just kind of loud. It's messing with the audio. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The last time this bar was featured in detail was when Hell House had their celebratory spirits right here in this room 10 years ago. And the guy that played Lucifer was uh, the guy from like Queens. He had a really oh. thick eye. Uh, he'd be like, yeah, welcome to Lucifer's cabin. <laughs> Lucifer's <laughs> cabin, yeah. <laughs> this is like doing Julius freaking Caesar at the theater of Pompeii ruins. Have you watched the Hell House documentary? Bits and pieces. And none of what's shown on it disturbs you? Like what? <laughs> Well, unexplained things happening to the crew, um... <laughs> people disappearing here. Here we go. All right, Ben. Challenge accepted. I'm going in. Inanimate objects moving around on their own. I haven't seen the movie. Uh, I don't know. It seemed like one of those silly found footage films, and it's not really my thing. I don't think I don't think I'll be watching the film while I'm here. At least you guys don't have to stay overnight here. They stayed overnight. It's supposed to be haunted, but I mean, you would know more than it I would. Have not you, haunted. Have you heard any bumps in the night? Yo, dude. Did you hear that? Yeah. It sounded like a scream. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Yeah. Seen it. I own it. <laughs> I mean, some pretty messed up shit happened to those people here. Tony, let me the fuck out. Tony, fuck. It doesn't bother you that people died here? Well, I mean, putting on a show like you guys are? You know, I will say, I, I do know where every exit is. There's no knob! There's no knob! There are reports of several people having gone missing, and their last known location was this hotel. Most recently, the guest of Morning Mysteries last year, Mitchell Cavanaugh and Brock Davies. Have you heard of any of this? The hotel wants to be heard. What the fuck is happening? Yeah. Let's get the fuck get out the of go, here. Go, 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 go! <laughs> I'm 
my name is Vanessa Shepard. I was the host of Morning Mysteries when Russell took over the Avedon Hotel in 2018. When my producers came to me and said that they wanted me to do an episode at the Avedon, I said that I was not interested. <laughs> um, yeah, Vanessa wasn't interested at all. But once we mentioned Russell Wynn, her ears perked up a little bit. The most shocking thing, other than what happened that night, was that Russell was very open to allowing Vanessa and Louie to film everything. We thought that was a long shot and that we'd never get called back, you know. Actually, looking back, maybe that was a red flag. Ghost sightings, disappearances, even reports of demonic possession. I t is this real? Okay. All right, let's go again? Okay. With all of these events happening, all the history, all the mysteries, enter Russell Wynn, the founder of Wynn Media Group, an entrepreneur that made his first million by 25 and has since been building a media empire along with his hit live-action interactive shows. Russell took his love of promenade theater and poured it into a passion project called Insomnia, an interactive and dark performance piece that has received overwhelming love from the press and audience members. I have been granted full behind-the-scenes access to the set of Insomnia in its very new location. The Abdon Hotel. Okay, that's my intro. Can I meet Russell now? Right now? No. He's in a creative meeting. They can go on for, I don't know, depends on his mood. So, after that? Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, this is Jeff Stone, <laughs> uh, Russell's head of... Operations. Operations, yes. What does that entail? Right now, mm -hmm. keeping you occupied. Russell wants me to give you a tour before we do introductions with everyone. You afraid to go in? Aren't you? You're doing a behind-the-scenes documentary on insomnia at the Abaddon Hotel. You do realize you'll have to go in eventually, right? I know that. Okay. Good. Honestly, we we're all a bit hesitant about going in at first, but it's really just wooden nails. That's what Russell always says. Is that? From Hell House. Yeah. You'll see a few of their things still laying around. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my buddy Hector. We haven't fully made it ours yet, but it's really starting to come together. You might say... Trust me, you'll be fine. We've been here for three weeks. The only thing scary here is the asbestos. Russell's made certain that some of the actors and production staff will be available for interviews. Um, including you? I'll give you a quote right now. I can't wait to get the hell back to New York. Oh, hey, Jeff, can I post this on Insta? Uh, just make sure you clear with Russell first. Okay, thanks. All right, you'll like this. Russell had the old bottles pulled and replaced with his personal label. Out of California. Oh. What's your uh, wine of choice there, Hotshot? Pretty impressive. You think so? Sure. You can have about 15, 20 bucks. How big is your van? <laughs> We're not moving that anyway. <laughs> okay, You're doing really? me a yeah. big favor. <laughs> Sounds good. Anyway, this room is going to be the most popular set for the audience, I think, along with the bar, which is actually. Oh. Just uh, Jeff, what's going on? I'm still here. Don't freak out. Okay. <laughs> Power's been spotty out. for the past few days. It usually comes back on in about 10 seconds or so. Okay. You wanted the insomnia experience? Here you go. <laughs> sure, getting it, yeah. Here we go. Like I said, just about 10 seconds or so. Power All right, so short. Love the dark. Yeah. 
Thank you, Max. Harvey. Harvey, what can I do for you? Do for me? What can you do for me? You can make me a size two again. But Russ, what you can do for him is know that he's finished and we're in the basement. He's no good with radios. Harvey's the head of artistic operations. Okay. He's also a big pain in my... Wait, wh where are you? You're in the basement? Yeah, tell Russell to meet me in the bar. I'm not going to the basement. After you meet Russell, you'll love him. Great. We'll go through heaven. Sounds good. <sighs> well, this is heaven, if you didn't figure it out on your mm -hmm. own. This is where God will make his wager with the devil, with our angels as his witness. Very cool. White's a little cliche, but that's what Russell wants. I thought I saw something. Did I lose you guys again? What? Something. What's going on? What are you guys looking at? Abaddon ice. That's what we call it. Everybody feels like they saw something out of the corner of their eyes or just felt like they were being watched. It happens to all of us. Just our imaginations messing with us. Abaddon ice. You coming? Yeah, we're Are coming. Are you sure you don't want to just hang out? No, <laughs> no. Okay. Shall we? So. Oh, hey guys. Guess where I was in the blackout? Right fucking here. That's why we have a buddy system. All okay, actors. Whatever. Makes a shit line. I insist on using the damn basement. Hey, sweetie. Hey, honey. One of my least favorite people in the world. I'm right back at you. How where's you your doing? Where's your buddy here? Where is uh, he? Old Russ is coming up the stairs right about now. You can't rush perfection. Five, four, three, and one. Oh, there he is, Jeff. How are you? How are you doing, winemaker? Huh? Didn't see you down in the basement. Yeah. Not a peep. Look at that. <laughs> Opened it you right up. You brought your camera Hi. crew. Hi, I'm Russell Vanessa Wynn. Shepherd. It's nice Pleasure. to meet you, Russell. Pleasure Thank you for having us here. We're really excited. So you're the new Morning Mysteries girl? I am. That's too bad I liked Susie. <laughs> don't get me wrong, she was a total bitch, but I liked her. And don't thank me yet. Why is that? Well, I'm sure you've heard all the stories about this place. Everyone who enters with a camera never seems to make it. Don't do that. She barely came in as it is. He's just kidding. I'm just screwing with you. Uh, well, we will try to stay out of your way as much as possible. Just be true. No, thank you. Flies on the wall. I appreciate that. I like what you've done with Morning Mysteries. Oh, I didn't think that you watch. He doesn't. I do. He does. And none of your guests have disappeared, so you've got that on Susie. That is true. Thank you. Uh, Lawson, is it? Louie, actually. Uh-huh. I'm a huge fan of all of your shows and everything that you've done. You've got good taste, and I give you full permission to film to your heart's content. And when you follow the actors, they may moan and groan, but it's all part of the show. They're actors, and they secretly love attention. Yeah, it's no secret. <laughs> well, uh, where should we start? Let's meet everyone. Yeah. Oh, there he is. All right, everyone. Welcome, welcome. So, Vanessa and uh, her guy, Lonnie. Lonnie? Louie. Yeah. Louie. Um, they're going to be embedded with us for the entire duration. They'll be filming everything, so don't say anything you don't want a few million people to hear. And I'll leave it to you, Vanessa. Thank you. Um, as you guys can see, we've handed a few of you your own mini camcorders. Why did we do this? Um, well, we want to encourage you to film anything that you want. Um, Self-taped interviews, any fun behind the scenes stuff that we might miss. Then when we wrap here, um, we will grab everyone's cameras and incorporate that footage into the episode. Make sense? Question, Russell. Yep. What happens if we catch a ghost on camera? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, great question, <laughs> really good. Uh, in your case, Gregory, you could ask it if it's ever heard of you, if it's ever seen you, maybe seen your reel, Probably has. some of your work, perhaps. I was in that sort of thing called Shakespeare in the Park with Amy Adams, right? Have you heard of it? It was a brilliant, a brilliant <laughs> summer of theater, thank uh, you. <laughs> which, which show were you in? Oh, no. Don't. Don't, get him going. Don't. Into the woods, it was me and Amy Adams. You and Amy Adams? You were like tree number three. Two people played a tree better than you. Oh. 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 Yeah. Well, anyway, 
anyways, what, what I really want everyone to do is just pretend that we're not even here. Um, if you've ever seen the show The Office, anyone? Okay, oh, well, we're like, like that camera crew, just uh, catching everything. I hated The Office. It's pretty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just make All right, they're a pretty difficult group to keep focused, mm -hmm. so <laughs> let's stay on task. Okay? Uh, wait, no, question, yes. Russell. Mm -hmm. um, could we still post to social media or? Yes, or? same oh, restrictions, awesome. keep it vague. Um, yes, actually, we encourage social media, just be sure to tag Morning Mysteries. Okay, so right. hashtag MM. Uh, actually, morning know. mysteries. So not MM. No. But okay. I think mm sounds but better. It's yeah. like food. It's like mm. Mm. And, and it keeps it vague, mm. you know? We want it to be not vague. Oh. It's very specific. Okay. Morning okay. mysteries. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, this is going well. I just wanted <laughs> you guys all to meet. So here we are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to need to go back to the city. Believe it or not, the wine's not selling oh. like you thought. I'm sorry, we'll can get to you sorry that. Jack, can I just yeah. interrupt for a second? Um, I was wondering if I could give you guys cameras as well. Ah, uh, I'd love to, but no can do. Got to keep my hands free. Okay. Sorry. Uh, you know what? We could probably get a GoPro or something. And Russell, can I give you a camera? I, I, I I'm not gonna. Use it. That's yeah. okay. I understand. Uh, I'm not a camera guy. But we just want you to have it <coughs> just in case. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. It's fine. Okay. Let's just get this real quick. Just come up with us and we'll help you. Whatever, whatever you need. Okay. Just. Oh my God! Get out of here! Go! 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 with me. Dude, Tony, what the fuck is it? Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah. Okay. So if you do a search anywhere, Google, Reddit, whatever, um, you find a plethora of unexplained photos and videos, most of them relating to the hotel or the town itself. Uh, Hell House was not the first incident to happen in this town, um, only the most popular. There are some disappearances related to a, an early 2000 county fair. That raises some red flags for me now. The Billy Braddock story alone is unsettling. It's Louie for the five o'clock. Hey. Hey, uh, I have to show you something before we have our meeting. Sure, sure. Just updating the journal. And then remember when Jeff said something about the whole Abaddon eyes thing? People think, People they, think see they see something. something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So my camera, I, th I think it caught something. Oh. Oh, oh, do I want to see this? Probably not. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Guys? Where are you? Jesus ah! Christ! <laughs> Come on, Whoa. guys! That's fucked up! I know! What is that? Oh, yeah. Sexist! That's sexism! Sex and, and Russell would be upset if he knew that you were playing with these things, and I'm. Uh. You know, I don't. If he asks, I don't have a part of that. Uh -huh. I'm not part of that. Uh huh. Okay. Well, you were all on camera, just sure. so you know. Worth it. Well, do you think that's what Vanessa gave us cameras for? They had them up. They had them up. They had them up. I think Vanessa should thank us because there would be no footage otherwise. Yeah, that's true. Otherwise, we'd have to listen to Gregory go on and on about his call. Uh, <laughs> that would be good television, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Uh, let's see. Your bank called again. Which for? All of them. Damn. Um, something going on. Like what? I don't know, Russ. I've only got one bank. If they called, I'd be concerned. Oh, Isabel, she asked me a weird question. What's that? She asked if she would still get her pay if she had to quit for some reason. No. Is she thinking about quitting? I don't think so. Like I said, it was a weird question. Her. Huh. All right. I'm off to wardrobe then. Jane hates her dress as much as I hate old Jeff's budget. Yeah. If 
Both of them are cheap. See you later, Harvey. Bye, honey. Oh, uh, this Father Paul has dropped this off for you. Thanks. Can I ask you about the hotel reopening in a few weeks? How do you feel about that? I told Russell it's a mistake. And what did he say? Uh, he hired me. Huh. Good. Something I should know? No. Nope. It's private. Okay. How do you know that guy? It's an old friend. Many demons claim to be the souls of real people that once wandered the earth thousands of years ago, even during the time of Christ. They try and use their memories of events to sow doubt into believers. One demon that we've encountered here in Abaddon has said over and over, est aperta porta. Wait, what is that? It's a Latin, I think. What is the name? Do you know? The gate is open. That's right. Father, can I ask if you've ever heard of Andrew Tully? Mm hmm I have. And Tully believed that he found this gateway, the gateway to hell? We are servants of the snake, and we will release someone into the lake of fire. The church is rich with references to hell and Satan. There are some old texts that refer to an earthly gateway to hell and the demon Abaddon being the guard. And it's been said that no man can close this gate once opened. It would take an angel from God himself. But if that gate is open, literal hell could be unleashed on earth. And there's also some versions of the Bible that dismiss all this as metaphorical, so there's really no stance that the church holds. Are you bringing people all the way out here? No, I just needed some air. And it might be the only time we get a chance to chat today, so. Mm -hmm. uh, you lowered ticket prices 30%. Are you expecting a drop in revenue? That was Jeff's idea. He didn't think that people would pay full price to come all the way out here. Mm -hmm. So we decreased it to increase ticket sales. Personally, I think people pay whatever I say and <laughs> will still sell out because it's a great yeah, show. I think you're right about that. People will pay to see the show in this godforsaken hotel. Why do you say that? Say what? God forsaken. Did you mean it literally or just an expression? Does anyone ever use that term literally? I mean, I don't even believe in God. Neither did I. And then? Don't tell me you're born again or something. That would be a nice twist on the story. Not, not like you're thinking. Did Hell House come out here? No, it was the county fairgrounds in the early 2000s. And so they had the fairgrounds over there. Mm. And they used the cornfields behind the Abaddon Hotel as a hayride. But they closed it down when some people got injured. Well, this is where that happened. Yeah. Sad. And a few years after that, Hell House comes to town. Mm-hmm. And nine years after that, Russell Wynn comes to town. I know what you're getting at. <laughs> yep. Well, you would think at some point the town would just stop having events here. Well, fortunately, it's not up to them. You still haven't told anyone why you moved Insomnia out here this year. Can you mm. tell me? Rocky and Wardrobe, I need you inside now. Over. Why do you need men wardrobe? Very helpful. Uh, we'll have to continue this later. Promise? As much as I can. Progress? Oh, this is weird. What the hell is that? I don't know. It's funky looking. Look. On me. BD? Hmm. I'll leave it. I'll give Russell credit. He, um... He allowed people to have fun, to, to enjoy themselves at work. 
No, but he also had rules. He didn't want anyone wandering alone in the hotel after hours. Call it what you will. Good fortune, heart, love. Oh, God. I have no name for it. Feeling is all. The name is sound and smoke. Sorry. I don't think I get it. Is he questioning the existence of heaven? He's explaining to Gretchen his own doubts mm -hmm. about heaven and hell as depicted by Christianity. Faust is full of doubts. Do I share those doubts? Guys, look, if we're gonna unpack Faust's views on religion, I think we should take a dinner first. We're running late. Yeah, yeah. Could we try and get through this? One more, yeah. Yeah, one more time. Hey, well, it seems like everything's going well. Oh, yeah. This place is half the size of our theater in the city. It's easier to manage. You're comfortable. How's Russell holding up? Hmm. I can't get a read. It's different than New York. I've never read Faust. No? No. I don't plan to either. <laughs> That's a wrap, guys. Okay, you can do a bonfire, but we want everyone back at the hotels by nine sharp. Harvey will be doing room by room head counts. Got it? If you're gonna shoot the bonfire, make sure you get when Harvey gets drunk. Tries to walk over the fire. Jeff, I only did that twice. <laughs> it was my year of saying yes. Why don't you even bring that so up? Good. What is that relevant so to what we're doing so right good. now? You're so you're such a chef starter. <laughs> Guys, everybody's gone. <laughs> so you gonna do it? I mean, yeah, for 500 bucks. <laughs> Show me that money and I'm going in there. Are you? I'm not going into that basement. <laughs> cool, so Greg's a pussy. Oh, you, you said you need 500 to do it. You don't sound that brave. Yeah. I need some kind of compensation for my work. Why? <laughs> it's just fucked up to run in there in the fucking dark in the dare. Mm. Yeah, because you saw a scary movie. Yeah, and because Russell and Jeff will kill me. Mm hmm. True. Fuck it! I'll do it. For real. So, you go basement and back. Same stakes. Bring drinks. On me. Done. Russell finds out. Are you going to tell him? <laughs> Are any of you going to tell him? So we're good. Yeah. We're good. Let's do it. Let's go. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. So I just, <laughs> I just gotta go in, touch the clown on the nose on camera, and go back. I have to make out with it. <laughs> I mean, if you do, let's <laughs> wanna watch that tape. <laughs> Good time. See y'all bitches on the flip side. Hmm. Maybe I'll have a little, little bev first. I gotta pee. Hello. Ladies, pleasure.
bartender. Fix me a drink. I'm entering the basement. Lisa, motherfuckers! Okay, cool. Entering the basement. What's up, guys? Oh, nice clown townhouse. Fucking good. Damn, bro. That's a little rough. All right, dickwads. Check this out. I'm gonna give you guys a little bonus. Mm. All right, that's about as raunchy as I'm gonna get. happened to you? Are you okay? What the fuck was she thinking? You heard me. I said nobody inside after we wrap. You said it. I said it. Even Harvey said it. She must have had too much to drink and just got stupid. Look, she didn't even show up on set today either. I'll talk to her. I checked her camera. She's telling the truth. She did see that clown. God damn it. You gotta make sure they're not playing pranks on each other anymore around this place. I will, I will. I'll keep a tighter leash on them. Make sure they know it's serious. I said I will. Okay. We gotta get on the same page. Mm-hmm. We agree that maybe she saw something. Yeah. But we float the idea that maybe it was someone messing with her. One of the pranks, because people have been pranking each other since we got here. If we get ahead of it, then we can stop them from speculating, or God forbid, tweet about it. But this conversation doesn't air. Yes? Yes. I know Jane, and she does not break easy. Russell thinks one of us fucked with her, but I know I didn't. There's just a lot of weird shit going on. Um, How did that make you feel coming into work today? What am I gonna do? The man's paying us better than any other gig I could possibly get. Why do you think Russell is doing that, paying everyone more to be here? Uh, I've only known him for like five years, but I think he's changed since the crash. The car crash in 2008? Yeah. <laughs> um, he's lucky to be alive, put it that way. Uh, the rumor is that they were actually about to call it. What do you think that has to do with him leaving the city? Can massive head trauma lead people to do some crazy stuff? Maybe. You know if we're just supposed to, like, continuously film with these things? Mine's already full. She didn't really say anything. Well, 
Your camera's pretty nice. I mean, maybe you should try to take it home. Are you all right, Isabel? Yeah, what's going on with you? You're very quiet today. Fine. You sure? I'm fine. What do you think happened to Jane? The only person that could pull off a prank like that is me. And I was with you the whole time, so. Were you? Yeah, I think so. And either way, I didn't do it, so. If I'd have seen that clown, I'd have pooped in my panties. She really did see it, and credit to her for sticking around. She's tough for a girl. Oh, fuck you, Gregory. All women are tougher than you. Please. Oh, so I'm just finishing up their makeup. You guys ready downstairs? Once you're done turning them from drab to bab, send them my way, please. Copy. Get into character, barkeep. What, shots? Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm putting this over here for you. Hello? Jane? Jane? Jane, really? Come on. Jane, this is so fucked up. on Jane. God damn it. Now we have to rehire. So close to opening, too. What did you offer her to stay? Double pay, same as Jane. Hmm. I better not leave this room. Look, I've got some calls out. I'm sure we'll have the department fill by tomorrow. Just make sure you stay quiet about why she left. Oh. Of course, but what are we going to inevitably say when the others start asking? You know this cast is gossipy as hell. Could be she just burnt out. Got too tired, people get tired, right? Jeff, I have known Isabel for years. We're not gonna go around saying she's too tired to do a gig, okay? Look, I know I'm a bit over the top, but listen to me. Something is wrong here. You know it, we know it, everybody knows it. And we're just plowing through the day like everything's perfectly fine, but it, it's starting to feel like, I mean, never mind. It's Go on. It's starting to feel like Hell House, and they didn't listen to the warning signs, did they, Russell? I'm telling you, we have to call it off right now. You, you were down and you saw what fucking happened! And now you're gonna make a fucking joke right now to Alex, your fucking best bud? Fuck you, man. This is nothing like our house. Nobody's gonna get hurt. Don't tell me you're jumping on the best with Isabel. No, that's not what I'm saying, Russell. What I'm saying is I have personally recruited people to be here, and I feel like something bad is gonna happen. And if that happens, that's on me, and I can't handle that, okay? It won't. If we all do our jobs, including me, I promise you, this is gonna work out. Hey, um, I'm sorry to interrupt, but just talking about Isabel, um, we got her camera back, but the card is missing. Um, do you guys know anything about that? What card? The memory card that goes in the camera. We can't get any of the footage off of it. <sighs> Shit, we better find that. Don't look at me. So I've been tasked with turning this shit show of a hotel into a functioning set. This has been the least enjoyable project I've worked on, and I have done children's theater in Alabama. With Isabel's 
sudden departure, how is everyone's mood here on set? I mean, it, it was unfortunate to lose Izzy. We've had a few hiccups, as any production would. You know, I want to make it explicitly clear that nothing was wrong with Izzy's performance. She's great. She just had to leave. You know, Izzy Baby Girl, if you're watching this, we miss you. I'm going to see you in New York. We'll have a drink. When Isabel left the production suddenly, it really wasn't a surprise if you look back at her social media history while she was there. I mean, she was taking a lot of selfies and posting them on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. If you read the comments carefully, some people started to point out things in the background. I mean, if you look at the pictures, you can see there's something there. What's wrong with it? The zoom lens isn't focusing. What does that mean? It's working, it's just being a little wonky. Can you fix it? Yeah. Let me grab my bag from the car. Hey, you know they're wrapped for the day. Do you want to just go back to the hotel? Let me just take care of it here. And keep your eye on the camera for me. Sure. Use it in case anything weird or interesting happens. OK. It's still recording. OK. Jeff? Harvey? Hello? <gasps> Louis, if you're screwing with me, I'm gonna shove this camera, you know where. Hello? So Louis calls me one afternoon saying, Essentially, something happened to Vanessa. He wanted to pull her out and go back to New York. I said, that was her call, not his. There was no one anywhere in the hotel, okay? We cleared out well before this. She said she saw something, Jeff. She's not crazy. Look, I never said she was. Well, then explain why your guys' sets are malfunctioning. Excuse me? Look, our sets are not malfunctioning. She is. Okay, let's calm down, and let's just listen to Vanessa. What do you think you saw? I don't know. It was really quick. So maybe it was nothing. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. No way. Don't let them bully Look, you. I just, I really want to forget about the whole thing, no. okay? I'm a little embarrassed. Yes, sir. I'm okay, Louis. She just freaked herself out. She's good. I could already hear my male colleague saying, see, she can handle it. Yeah, I wasn't going anywhere. I just don't want to be called difficult or crazy or all the other sexist shit that men say about women in the workplace. I get it. I mean, Jesus, I've only had this job a few months. I, Louis, I, I can't screw it up because I saw something that I couldn't explain. Just hell no. Believe me, I get the situation you're in, but you and I saw that video. That was real, and I got your back on that. What do you want to do? I want to talk to Russell. Okay. I think he gets in at like 8 tomorrow. No, right now. You want to ambush him at his hotel? Yeah. 
I do. If Russell thought he was going to be the first person to use the Abaddon and not have the unusual paranormal incidences pile up, he was insane. And actually, a lot of people thought he was insane. It wasn't just Hell House. There are countless people who have disappeared inside that hotel, the latest being those poor folks on that Morning Mysteries episode, last seen at a bar near the Abaddon before going missing. Oh, no. Oh. The dance floor. Okay. Well, it's okay. The dance commander. Okay. There's the Billy Braddock disappearance. He posted on Facebook that he was going to the Abaddon to burn it down. Never heard from again. Most of these people filmed what they were doing, just like Hell House and Insomnia. Uh, those tapes have to exist somewhere. Russell? What is this? I have no idea. What are you doing? Hi, sorry, I was looking Hello? for you actually. Um, I wanted to talk to you if I could. Sorry. About what? About the hotel, Russell. I mean, what's been going on there? Your people don't feel safe, and if I could just show you the video that we shot I don't need to see your video. I'm sure you saw something that scared you. Then why aren't you concerned? You're not here to advise me on my business. You're here to document the opening. I'm sorry about what happened to you. Look, really forget about what happened to me. Just talk to your own people, Russell. They don't feel safe there. I'll see you guys at the Abaddon. Is that Mitchell Kavanaugh? Yeah, the missing Mitchell Kavanaugh. What do you want to do in case of rain? It's one week until we open and young Jeffrey starts to worry about everything. Murphy's Law. Tell them to bring umbrellas, they'll be fine. All right. We still running those buses out of the city? Only if they agreed to the rate they originally quoted us, despite demand. Agreed? Yeah, okay. You know, everyone is doing all right. Everybody's in great spirits. It's like no one noticed Isabel ran back to the city. I don't know how. They noticed, but you and Harvey have been doing a good job helping me keep everyone focused. Thanks. It's not easy. This place. Chad? <clears throat> yeah, go ahead, Harvey. I'm here. Over. I'm upstairs. Are we good to go on the light test? Good. Yeah. Yep, good to go. Russ and I will be there in a bit. Over. Wonderful. Over and out. We'll get it. We'll get it. See you in there. Mark, we're going to start doing the lighting test on the second floor whenever you're ready. I'm in the bedroom. Copy that. All right, bring everything down to full dark, please. Okay, I got time to be doing this. I had a million things to do tonight. All right, give me the dust lamp, please. On. Okay, off on that. All right, give me the red lamp, please. in the red lamp. Jeff said we can only afford one lamp. Jeff says stop flirting with Louie. Jeff says all the things that make me sick. What a guy that Jeff. What the? Lights up, lights up. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Let's, let's go again. Come on, Jeff, give me some of that money for the lights. It's looking a little drab in here. It looks like dinner theater. I don't do dinner theater. Let's figure out a way to move a few of these bottles, then we'll talk. What, you mean this great backwash? Did you see me there? No, I wish. I, I actually haven't been back to New York in nine years. Sounds well, like Gregory went his first man. Carl actually website. likes him. Confident, a little conceited. We like that. Well, thanks. You're welcome. We'll enjoy you. I hope, uh, I hope you will. Honestly, I can't wait to be done here. Back to New York. You can say that again. That's nice, but you're never leaving here. You know that, right? What do you mean? 
<laughs> Be good, silly. He's coming, and you're all going to hell. Hey, Gregory, we are. Uh... Hi, Jeff. I was just talking to. Where did she go? What... I. Who are you talking to? I. Uh, I don't know. She didn't say her name. She. Uh, did you. Did you see her? Uh, Nobody's here. What are you yeah. talking about? She was right here, dude. Like right here. Two seconds ago. Where'd she go? Where'd she? Yeah, Where'd you she... have an imaginary girlfriend now? No. She sounded cute though, which is a stretch for you. What did she look like? Uh, she had like dark blonde hair. She's wearing a gray t-shirt, jeans. I don't know. Did she go past you guys? No. She was like right here. It was really strange. Mm. The way she sounded, what she was saying. And no one has seen her around the hotel since? Nope. Definitely didn't get a name. No name. But the way he described her. What is it? <sighs> sounded like, sounded like Sarah Havel. I think Russell had his enablers. It was a lot like Alex Taylor, too. People around him, letting him get away with things, never questioning him. I think that's how Hell House met its demise. And so too Insomnia nine years later. Russell knew what he was doing the whole time. That's what I think people should know the most. And I think that's where the Alex and Russell comparisons end. Russell knew what was coming opening night. He knew it. When everybody got together the night before opening, it was like... It was like nothing had happened. I think that's, um... The brilliance of Russell Wynn. He created such... A comfortable atmosphere. When there was just no right for anyone to feel comfortable. So Vanessa, how single would you say Louis is? <laughs> <laughs> so, so what is the plan here? Going to be a big time news anchor? Or? She already has a big time news anchor. Oh, no. Tell me, in your illustrious career, have you ever interviewed anyone as uptight as old Jeff here? Anyone else give you the Jeff face? He might be the most uptight. <laughs> That's not the face right. he makes. Aww. Responsible <laughs> and... Oh, well, 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 look who's so oh. late. Oh. Hey. Oh, good to see you, all right. Oh, there's no room? I'll just, I should go? Oh. Oh, did I miss dinner? By about 30 minutes, yeah. Just, just missed it. Hi, Mr. Wynn. Hello. What can I, what can I get for you? How about a menu? Um, I'm actually sorry, our kitchen closed about 30 minutes ago. It's 10.30. I mean, I, I can go back there and see if our chef will whip you up something. No, no, it's fine. Um, <laughs> can I just have some dinner rolls and a glass of red? Yeah, sure. What kind of wine do you want? Chateau Latour, mid 80s, preferably, maybe 91, if you have it. Uh, I don't think we have any Chateau anything. Oh, we do have some Win Merlot, though. No, no, way overpriced. Um, <laughs> Not a bad idea. Just, just the house friends go. Okay, sure. We'll be right back with that. I'll be back for it. Russell Wynn, mm -hmm. out in public amongst the people. What should mm -hmm. we attribute this to? Well, it's the last night of normalcy, so I want to be with my people it's after tomorrow. It's gonna be hell. <laughs> Here you are, Mr. Wayne. Cheers. 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 Nobody wants that, right? Hey. Nice bud. Uh, wow, okay. <laughs> Did anybody eat? <laughs> no? So, okay. Jeff told me that you guys are officially sold out for the first week. How does it make you feel? Thank you for that question. You're an interview mode. <laughs> <laughs> so, why can't you just relax and socialize like a normal person? That was normal socializing. That was oh, normal conversation. No, totally. Okay. <laughs> that is a very oh good God. question, Vanessa, and I'm glad that you asked it because we are so excited here for Insomnia. Crew is ready. And we'll see you tomorrow. 
But seriously, I, I don't think we should come tomorrow night. What? Why wouldn't we come? I don't. You said that that me and Louis can come is part of the plan. I don't understand. Yeah, but you could film the dress rehearsal and have the same effect. What are you talking about? You said that Louis and I have full access. Sure, but I think we should pick another night. Russell, what is going on? Nothing. Really, nothing. Do you expect me to believe that? So, uh, can I get anything else for you? No, I think I'm gonna go to bed. Just um, give the checks to this guy right here. He'll okay. take care of it. I'll take care totally. of it. Yeah. All right, good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Right? Sleep well. Let's be ready for tomorrow. Let's go talk to Father Paulus again. About what? I think he knows something. What? Everything. So, do you want to tell me what Russell said to you? Vanessa, what are we doing here? Come on, Vanessa, like, open up. Like, tell me something, please. Hey, come on. Let's go. Father Paulus! Hello, Miss Shepard. Can we talk to you? I'm sorry, I'm very busy today. I don't have time. Father, I know that you're not telling me everything about your relationship with Russell. I'm sorry you feel that way. Are you receiving any money from Russell? Yes, cash. I can't shake this feeling that Russell's having some banking issues right now, and that has to do with him moving around large sums of money. He might be. Do you know what he's doing with this money? I really don't think I can say. Can we? Come on. Father, this is, this is off the record. This is too big to be between just you and Russell. Father, you said that you know that Andrew Tully was searching for this fabled gateway to hell in this town over 30 years ago. What if he found it? What if he found the gateway and he achieved what he had always wanted, which was to cross to the other side and come back? And Russell is having hundreds of people go through there later tonight. Yeah, Russell is a very troubled soul. He, uh, he's carrying a large burden with him. And that's making him do what? As of tonight at midnight, he's liquidating all of his assets and He's instructed me to disperse them to suitable charities. Thank you. What does that mean? I think that means it's it for Russell tonight. She drops this bombshell story on New York 8's website. Breaks all kinds of journalistic rules. <laughs> it goes national within an hour. If she's wrong, she would have been fired that day. 
Turns out she was right. Did you tell him it was off the record? I did. But I knew that he was hiding something. Everybody did. You know, I feel like we came so close to getting it shut down before it opened. Imagine that. Insomnia just hours away at its new location, the Abaddon Motel. We just received news regarding Russell Wynn's finances. The report from New York Eight's Vanessa Shepard, host of Morning Mysteries, who has spoken to the cast and crew of Insomnia, says that Russell Wynn is planning a complete liquidation of all of his assets and wealth effective midnight tonight. What that means for Insomnia and the rest of his holdings and IP is still up in the air. Dude, what the fuck? We're still getting paid, right? I don't understand. What does liquidate mean? Jack. You use it that way, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're, we're probably not paying. Who's he doing? Russell. What is this shit? What the hell, Russell? Father Paulus. If you can't trust a priest. What is this shit? Her report's very misleading. I'm not liquidating my IP in the holdings that fund projects like Insomnia. Who gives a shit about insomnia? This is bullshit. This whole venture, coming out to the middle of nowhere, your shitty wine. What else are you hiding? I'm not hiding anything. What I do with my money is not your concern, Jeffrey. I'm the COO of Win Media Group. Of course it concerns me. What I do with my money oh, that's is just not your great. concern. You know what? It's just fucking great. You done? We open in two hours. Get your shit together and let's have an awesome show. Wait a minute, so we're still open, right? We're opening tonight. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's get everything ready. Nice try. He was never going to be able to keep that story a secret. But looking back, um, it makes sense. The tapes I found the most interesting were the unseen footage shot by a hell house. I can't begin to explain how weird that was. Down? I'm in. Yes. Fuck yeah. All right. I hate the fucking city anyways, man. Perfect. He, he didn't say we were going to move there permanently, though. Trust me, guys, yeah. OK? Mac, you're in. Paul's in. You, you're, she's good. I'm in if Lucifer's cabin is out. Oh my God, please <laughs> tell me that we can retire Lucifer's cabin. Oh, come on. Retire Lucifer's cabin. We had cabin. some laughs. Come on. Yes. Max, yeah, can you not have take your it. Yeah, it's yeah. gone. What are you scared of, ghosts? Come on. What are you scared of? Okay. Safe. I'm just saying that there are, you know, there are logistical concerns. He's essentially an expert, okay? He saw everything that Hell House filmed. What do you want to do? You want to go in blind? Do you want to lead the way to the basement? Obviously not. Max, easy on the drinks, keep them light. Come on, the drunker they are, the better reviews they'll leave. Yeah, yeah, Harvey, go easy. <sighs> okay, Dad. momentarily deals will be made with the devil God will forsake you you'll follow us as we fall in love and battle with our innermost demons into heaven and hell ladies and gentlemen welcome to insomnia you look good how do you feel fucking great darling ready to go Faust ready Quite quaint and homey. The 
bar is open. The dining room is ready to serve you. A wager then? No man can resist evil. If I can destroy what is divine in Faust, the earth will be mine. He's already a complicated soul. Like all men, he preaches good, but he does evil. Seconds copy. Hey Max, you have incoming. Over. Anybody got eyes on Russell? Last I saw he was in the balcony. Okay. Where's that? Do we have that? We don't have a camera lot. Jeff, it's gonna be fine. Okay. All right. <laughs> Just wonder. Poor Faust. Why do you seek death when you haven't even lived? Give me the duration of your stay here. One fall of sand through the hourglass, and I'll be your servant. Give you anything your heart desires. You do not possess the power to give me what I truly want. Try me. Sign the contract. Are those lights supposed to be doing that? Yeah. That's the effect. Jeff, calm down. Stay here one night. I just want to make sure. It got me all nervous. I can show you what living can truly be. <laughs> so you're lonely. We can remedy that. Where is that? So what's going on here? The wine room. What the hell is going on? Holy shit. Someone's in 2C. What? Who? Where is that? Pull that up. Look, somebody should find Russell. <sighs> yeah, okay. Wait, Jeff. Jeff. Vanessa said she wants you to wear this at all times out there. Right, okay. All right. I tried to see. Yeah. I guess I used your camera after all. Brilliant move with the cameras. We taped everything, too, when we first opened this place. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Russell. The roll is complete. Just sit back and enjoy your destiny about to be fulfilled. We'll all enter the lake of fire together. The beasts Time has come around at last. Russell, Russell, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? He's coming. You know the rules. You cannot break the deal, Faust. Your life was one of old dust and moldy books. This is not it! What is it that you want, then? 
Remember, I have until the hourglass runs out. He doesn't make wagers for souls. It's far more complicated than that. The roots far more ancient. Who are you, goddammit? God is not here. Something happening inside the hotel. Uh, we heard an alarm of some sort, and we definitely heard the sound of. Hold on. There's something.
crews continue to battle the blaze at the Abaddon Hotel. I have word that all audience members and staff were found in the cornfields behind the hotel, miraculously unharmed. When Media Group COO Jeff Stone says Russell Wynn is still unaccounted for. Sometime during the 8 p.m. performance, a fire broke out quickly, and reports are that it started in the hotel's basement. No word yet on the cause or the whereabouts of Russell Wynn. brought us back. How? It was the car crash. That's why he was here. What a lot of people don't know is that Russell essentially died twice. Uh, no, we knew about the car crash. Everybody, everybody knew that. It's how he got his scar. What we didn't know was that supposedly Russell was legally dead for two minutes. You can't go public with that. I don't think warning Miss Teresa is going to show any of this. I guess you could say he went to the other side and came back. If you believe in that stuff. Do you believe that story? About Russell dying in the car crash? I mean, if you had asked me a few months ago, I would have said no. But I was reminded of something that Father Paula said in our first interview. No man could close the gateway. It would take an angel from God himself. The most interesting thing we've learned in the wake of these events is the discovery of dozens of tapes and drives in Russell Wynn's hotel room. There's a treasure trove of information. Some of the tapes have been made available. Now we know what happened to the Morning Mysteries people. The Hell House footage, however, was uh, bizarre to say the least. The police are calling them the Abaddon tapes. <gasps> took us. Who are you? I'm the one who closed the gateway. You're the one who helped open it. We're not, we're not dying here, okay? We're not, we're not dying. It's not supposed to happen this way. We're not supposed it to happen here. We're not supposed to happen. It's just a fucking... Folks, we're not supposed to... 
Aren't you gonna help me? Aren't you gonna help me open this door? I'm so sorry this happened to you. It's time to move on. Wait! Still open. Let's do it. Let's go. Come have a drink with us. <laughs> 